All right, all right, all right, my marksmen. Welcome back to On Mark Gaming. So, as I've already kind of done before, we have beaten Bioshock Infinite. Um, there is a giveaway still kind of going on with that. So, if you are interested in that giveaway, make sure you check out the description down below. There will be a link taking you over to the video, and it'll tell you how you can enter in for your chance to win at Bioshock Infinite. Now, aside from that, we played episode one of Burial at Sea. So, what I thought would be kind of nice is if we just kind of finish out the Infinite series um, by playing a beer, uh, Burial at Sea Episode 2. Now remember before we do get started here, if you like the content that you see here, let me know by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, and make sure you also hit that little bell for notifications so that way you can stay caught up to date on all my future uploads. Otherwise, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so Burial at Sea Episode 2. Um, we'll go back to being medium. Yeah, we should watch the recap. Previously on Bioshock. Told me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Do you think that's a child down there? She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly, find Would you kindly, find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed of. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. Alright, so it looks like the good ending is the official ending for Bioshock, like the, um, I guess, canon ending, which is pretty good. Now, I thought they were going to do a recap of Burial at Sea Episode 1, and if you missed that content, make sure you go check that out real quick. Hit pause on this and watch those two videos. It's only two videos, so it shouldn't take you all that long. There is a lot going on in there. Sally! Sally, come out! She wasn't yours. Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Ooh, dang. Yeah, so make sure you watch that video so that way you know exactly what happened there. Um. Uh huh. So it looks like okay. So we're at Paris. Mademoiselle. Yes. Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh no, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh, thank you. To be a little nitpicky, she had to have known that he was drawing her. That would have taken forever. Alright, so this looks nice. Alright, so Elizabeth finally made it to Paris. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Now the question is though, if we're still abiding by um, Bioshock Infinite, I thought all the Elizabeths were erased. Well, I guess there was one that was left over. Um, or at least kind of was left up to interpretation. So, I don't know. What did you say? All right, so we are we are definitely in Paris. Bonjour, I mean, here's the Eiffel Tower. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Elizabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Everybody's super happy. Okay, that kid is so excited about having a baguette. <laughs> Bonjour, Elizabeth. Why Bonjour. is he dancing around in circles with a baguette? Bien, comment allez-vous? Sure. 
Why do so many people know my name, too? This has got to be a dream. This is going to turn bad. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonne journée. Actually, okay, so I feel like we are meant to go that way, so I wonder if there's anything in this back corner. Kind of wish we could run. Seriously, though, I mean, I've never seen a kid happier with a baguette. Baguettes are pretty amazing, but still. Oh, this looks pretty. Alright, so we got a nice little garden. Bonjour. Alright, so there's nothing back here other than just a really nice looking scene. Alright, let's go ahead and head back our way to the dancing baguette boy. For my viewers, have you guys ever been to Paris? Is this really what it's like? Are there people who are just standing there painting, riding bicycles, and dancing with baguettes? I'm gonna say yes. I like the idea that Paris is that. Pain fries? I don't know. Bonjour. Oh, so look at that. It's like Lady and the Tramp all over again. Ooh, and there's a creepy mine. What are you doing? You're playing the... What is that supposed to be? I don't know my instrument names. Oh, so your name's Cosette. And you're a creepy, terrifying mine. Clown, whatever you are. Bonjour. Et pour pas cher en plus. Do you have the Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton? Bonjour. Bien le bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour. Seriously though, why does everybody know my name? I would like a baguette. This has got to be a dream. There's no way that it's this perfect. Alright, so I don't know why, but that scene makes me think that that bird was going to explode like it did in Shrek. Like she was going to hit a very high note and the bird would follow and then it would blow up. So we got... I'm going to guess that it's the bird or the cage. Is that bird in French? Let me know if that's bird in French. I'm pretty sure that is. That's definitely cage. So I think it's the bird or the cage. I choose the bird. Look how cute they are! Aww. Ah. You probably have heard my bird screaming in the past. I have a sun conure. Very colorful, very red. This looks very it. Giving me it vibes. Something creepy is gonna happen. Oop, it's getting dark. <laughs> Sally! Sally, wait! Come back! Come back! The fact wait. that the balloon is not going just straight up is so suspicious. Sally, stop! Where are you going? Come back. Sally, hold on! Come back. I wonder what the importance of the card was. Why would they show like the Ace of Diamonds? 
Hey, look, the balloon's going Stop, that Stop. way. What's over here? Anything over there? Where? How did she get over there? Where did she go? Where's Sally now? Nope, that's Booker. Oh, I can't go that way. Can I go anymore over here? Nope. All right. Well, I guess we better open up Booker's. Ooh! Did you guys just see that shadow? What was that? All right. I didn't do anything! No, 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 no! It wasn't my fault! Leave me alone! Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Alright, so Elizabeth is clearly having like a terrible dream here. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. So she just straight up left Sally? After we like burned her up? And like put her in danger? Jeez Elizabeth, you're as bad as Booker. Empty. Empty again. What are the odds? What's the holdup? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? Uh, Booker, say, what? I don't I understand. Can get you. How? Say... I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Ugh. Guys, it's Atlas. He's back. And if you watch my series on Bioshock 1, we know that Atlas is not a good guy. Elizabeth, come on, it's time to get moving. Booker? What? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl, I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional thing, didn't she? Had to be done. Did it? Everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost to Pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. And Comstock, that final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Okay, so we're talking to a ghostly Booker DeWitt, and I like how they make the nod that this actually is supposed to be Comstock version of Booker by making Booker with white hair. Because Comstock 
was older from the device um, from whatever it was called, Columbia. Okay, so we're talking to a ghostly booker. Elizabeth is in rapture for some reason again. Something had happened to her. Maybe she just got knocked out by Atlas. What's this? Why is it shining? Climb the wreckage. Sure, let's climb it. Wait, where does that go? Is there anything up there? This is stairs. Oh, no, never mind. Guess not. Alright, let's go ahead and climb the wreckage again. I was in Paris. Alright, so we are still in the happy. same area. Now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am, Booker. Now I have to find this. Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth, I ain't even here. Then how are we talking to you? What is this Booker supposed to be? Like, is she just now going to be haunted by, like, a ghostly image of Booker? I wonder what happened to the big daddy. Oh uh, well, we've made it to the exit. Move the rubble. How, what are you, huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You're feeling like yourself, Elizabeth. I feel, I feel strange and, and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Oh. Oh my god. S stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that. Stay away! Then how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet my finger? What am I? Huh? I don't understand. I I If we're going to end up in the same place, I think it's a hard Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things. But after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton. Especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. Well, the Lutesses were straight up throwing shade about Elizabeth. trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. Now here's the question. If Elizabeth really is this all-powerful person... When the Big Daddy went to go attack her, why didn't she just immediately bamf him to another area with her tears? I mean, that's exactly what she just did with Songbird, so why not do that with the Big Daddy? The 
Okay, that was creepy. The Lutesses warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse? From a, a quantum superposition to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. Peter. It, Where's like the I lower half of her? I wanted to see if the pinky was still there. I'm never leaving here, am I? I I'm never going back to Paris. You and you, you're just you, you're just what? You, you're you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds. You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. So it sounds like she's going to probably die by the end of this. I don't know. If I was like all seeing, I'd kind of rather stay all seeing. Alright, so we gotta find Su Chong, but he's not down below here, is he? Press A to crouch, we know that. Ooh, so it looks like when we go into a crouching position, we're kinda hidden. Some floor materials are louder than others, water and broken glass are the noisiest. I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy, I don't know if- Well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter, too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way, doesn't mean you have to. <laughs> Alright, so we clearly want to avoid the glass and the broken water. We did not do that the first time around, so we might have some guy that we have to fight against. Carpets muffle your move, sound muffle your movement. Okay, so this is going to be like a stealthy version. And we all know how I do not do well with stealth. Quiet. He can't hear what's only in your head. Well, he's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body? From here on, it's only going to get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Children, the clay, Redburn. See, Ryan the Lion reminds you parasites are never welcome. Mommy, Daddy's girlfriend, Miss Turner. That's hilarious. Why did they make her look like a clown too? Poor Mommy. Today's art lesson: draw a parasite you met today. So are they saying that the teacher's a parasite? Intellectual superhumans who, in the act of their becoming. Now let's get a look back. Alright, so we got his lockpick. I will not share my toys. I will not share my toys. Corner of shame. Wait, so they're punishing these kids if they share? That seems a little harsh. Because remember, sharing is caring. Oh, she can climb up here too? What? Or is this where we came from? No, it's not. Maybe it is. I don't remember. Ooh, there's candy and or there's food and gold. So we got a little bit of health. And we got some money. Do you guys ever remember seeing the old juicy fruit commercials? Um it had this like giant whale and they would sing sharing is caring. They're like, sharing is caring, this could be fun, and then like these kids end up attacking this whale. Cause they don't want to share their juicy fruit. And then, like, the whale thingy ends up fighting them, too, and it's so funny. And by the end, he's, like, beat up, and it gets crazy. Eat candy. They don't make commercials like they used to. Oh, and, like, the Eggle Waffle commercials? Waffle. 
Gosh, I'm going on a tangent, but that makes me remember my childhood pretty well. All right. Learn how to pick lock picking locks. Can be easy with the right tools and know-how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Okay, so we want to go for the white and leave the blue and the red. But there's an alarm. Huh. That could come in handy, though. Press Y to probe a neutral pin and open the lock. A red pin will open the lock, but also sound an alarm. Okay, so we want to hit a white. Okay, is that it? That's not so bad. Pretty sure lock picking is not that easy. Um, to use a medical kit, press over. The number in the top left corner indicates how many metal kits you currently have. Oh, so we're going like back to old school Bioshock. Michael Ramsey, Corey Stower, and Oliver Hong. I wonder if they're like developers. But seriously, we're going like back to old school with the whole health pack system. I like that. If I earn a nickel, isn't it my right to buy candy if I see fit? No, says Peter the Parasite. You must only buy fruits and vegetables. If I can afford to see the doctor, is it my concern that others cannot? No, says the damnable Parasite. We must all crowd our way into the physician's office. Lion for lion, says. Okay, so we got the difference between communism, or I guess just communism and empathy. Uh, is a sham, outdates, or is like outdated, a mistake, um, not good, a delusion, a hypocrite, a lie to people invented by parasites, property theft, a stupid idea is stealing, and mo mockers? Moochers. Moochers. Ah, okay, so that means moochers. All right. Uh, and empathy is for weak people, is for the unfit, not of value, drags you down, is for parasites, is stupid, not positive, not a virtue. Well, it seems like we're trying to, um... What was that? You know, don't you? The, the doors, the, they're, they're cracking open. My memories of the future, and, and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future you're looking at? If not mine, then... then whose? That was clearly Sally's future, and we were looking through the eyes of her in uh, Tenenbaum's apartment. All right, so we're clearly brainwashing children here. Just remember, guys, sharing is caring. Empathy can be good. Pick up crossbow. You sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one. Ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. It's up to you. Those who cannot create will always steal from those who do. Where is your empathy? Alright, sneaky dock out. So it almost kind of seems like Elizabeth is more willing or trying to keep them alive. Alright, there is a person up there. I thought there was another guy. Is it just this woman? Peter the Parasite says share and share alike. I heard that. High and low, we search high and low. 
All right, so she knows I'm around. Oh, there she is. I thought Rapture was open for business. Young lady, come out here this instant. All right. Well, we had to knock her out. Oh, hold a pick up. Cool. All right, well, now we got a pistol, but I don't really want to use the pistol. I kind of want to do this quietly. All right, so there definitely is a guy around here. As I thought, there was a third person. The question is, though, where is he? Oh, we just walked through water. I've been told this town was friendly to free enterprise. Where is this guy? I don't see him at all. First, a law gets bribery. Then, I want some fella in my privy advising how I defecate. It's next to martial law. Huh. Oh, well. I've suddenly lost interest in trying to find him. afraid to let the market take its natural course oh there's a guy seems to me you're against a guy making an honest buck I thought rap nobody's against you making an honest buck I just want you to be quiet because you're gonna try to kill me and that's not very honest all right, so that's where it just kind of loops around. That, by the way, was the guy. Oh, it looks like we can keep getting these darts back too as long as we hit the person and we um, don't go too crazy. Okay. All right, so where to next? Probably through there, yes. Anything else to do around here first? Doesn't look like it. The look, Silverfin Su Restaurant, really closed by us. order of Dr. Su Chong. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin Restaurant. That's that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960. With Booker, when you drown some over a year from now. Yeah, that that that's right. I when I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense. But now, now it's it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Okay. Free man and free markets. Are you in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. I'm kind of confused because we know that Frank Fontaine is not the best of people, but it sounds like all he was really trying to do was help those people around him. So, like, was he actually evil? I mean, he's definitely evil. It all seems kind of weird. OK. 
Okay, so we opened up that door. But do we really want to go that way? I think I kind of want to run this way and see what was inside of here first. Oh wait, were we already in here? Is this where we came from? Oh yeah, we already came from here. Okay, so then what's going on down here? Cupid's arrow. We're meant to go that way, so let's open up Cupid's arrow and check out and see if there's anything good in here. Gender bender. I was here as well. Oh. Right after I came through, I needed, I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Okay, so it looks like we've entered into the Naughty District, which is surprisingly right next to um, the Children's School. Gender bender. Liberation found fathoms below. Meet Chris, whose sexuality knows no boundaries. Well, good for him. He didn't have these books in my tower. Maybe if they did, you'd be a little less killy. That uh, Rapture's Man of Steel. Look at that big daddy. He works hard but plays harder. Good lord. Appetite for sin. The temptation of Rapture through the eve of a Midwest girl. Okay, there's more gender bender. Co eds, it's never too late for education. Uh, Mother May I. Okay, she lives to punish. We're gonna just continue going this way. Okay, so we've got a stripper pole. What is this? Pick up Peeping Tom. Disappear from sight, see through walls, and sneak up on your foes. Wow. Why would they offer a Peeping Tom plasma? That just sounds so wrong. I could use this plasma and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. Press LZ while standing still to see enemies through walls. Okay. There you are. What is that? A necklace? Oh wait, is that Elizabeth's old outfit? How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen! But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. That only seems to be knocking them back. You're only gonna do real damage that way if they don't see you coming. Well, that wasn't yeah, really that my fault. Wait, is there another guy? There is right there. Alright, he's asleep. I did it. Go to sleep. What did you mean before when you said you were in Paris? It wasn't really Paris, it was more... It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. You probably would be better off there, but... You're being the morally objective person by trying to save Sally. Because I mean, it kind of is your fault. Ooh, this is weird. Oh, it's like a viewing box. That's gross. Wait, something just activated. A shopping bag. Um, I don't really care about unlocking that pick because it just brings us back here and I don't want to waste them. Why even ask? Alright, let's go ahead and go. Uh, 
Um, what does the blue do again? Uh oh. You have acquired a noise making device. Make sure it's equipped to and fire it at windows to the right to draw the attention of splicers from your path. Wait. You have acquired a noise making device. Make sure it's equipped and fire it at the windows. Windows? To the right and draw the splicers from your path. Okay, seems interesting. Actually, I think what we're going to go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, we're, um, we're about 40 minutes in. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and call it there for today. Um, we are successfully so far doing pretty good with our whole stealthy mission here. So remember, guys, if you like the content that you see here, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and, and subscribing to my channel. Hit that little bell for notifications because we're going to be finishing up this part two of Bear That Scene relatively quickly. And I guarantee you will not want to miss any of this future storytelling with this. Otherwise, guys, thanks for hanging out with me in this time. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye!